Demystifying Objectivity and Neutrality in English Reading Comprehension Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to dig deep into the concept of assessing objectivity and neutrality while critically reading English texts. This is a crucial part of evaluating the credibility of your sources and improving your reading comprehension skills. So, let's dive right in. Objectivity and neutrality are fundamental aspects of credible sources. A source is considered objective if it presents facts without any personal bias. On the other hand, a neutral source impartially presents different viewpoints, even those that contradict each other. Remember, the aim of an objective and neutral source is to inform, not to influence. Bias in a text could be due to the author's personal views, beliefs, or affiliations. It might present only one side of the argument, use emotional language or make sweeping generalizations. It is essential to spot these indicators of bias to assess the objectivity of the source. In some texts, you might find that all viewpoints are not treated equally, or some opinions are intentionally marginalized. This can undermine the neutrality of the source. A balanced source fairly considers all relevant viewpoints and allows the reader to form their own conclusion. An objective source uses verifiable facts and logical reasoning, while a biased one might rely heavily on opinions. Distinguish between facts and opinions in the text to assess its objectivity. However, remember that a neutral text can contain different opinions, but it presents them equally. Always ask who benefits from the information. If the text seems to favor a particular group or cause, it might be biased. Similarly, if it's sponsored or paid by an organization with vested interests, its objectivity and neutrality could be compromised. So, there you have it. That's how you assess the objectivity and neutrality of a source. Remember, the goal is not to avoid biased sources completely but to recognize them and understand their influence on the text. This way, you become a more discerning reader and learner of the English language. We hope you found this video informative and we look forward to helping you further enhance your English language skills in the future. Happy learning!